G'day. This video is about profiling with a parting tool. Back when this particular video you're looking at now was released, I was told in the comments that parting tools were available that were made for profiling. So I asked the question and was told it was $80 for a packet and decided that uh, that wasn't a fair thing. Uh, but a friend of mine needed some too, so we decided to share the cost. The one on the left is the profiling insert, the one in the centre is my normal low cutting force parting insert, and the one on the right is a round insert, which you can see obviously. The one on the left has 20 degrees of rake, the one in the centre has 30 degrees of rake, and I'm not sure what the round insert has as its rake. So this is the part I wanted to try and make. And it is proving a little difficult, I must admit. The very first part I started to make stalled. Um, I had a rapid where it should have been a feed. And I didn't notice that the tool had come out a long way. So I started the program again and this is what happened. So I finished that one. Now I don't like to start a program with a canopy open. I've got no idea what's going to happen, whether things will go bang. This little bit of terrible footage was shot with my phone sitting on top of the closed canopy. And I think I'll try and make improvements to how that looks. There's the one that was a bit oversized. Now, I'd been working on a 2mm shift for these inserts, but that's not right because there's a 0.2 radius both sides and the shift should be 1.6 so I rewrote the program for 1.6 and it's still not correct so even the ball you can see a flat there so I wrote the program again for a 1.2 shift and that's not right either that's too pointy and you can see even on the ball it's not quite round so anyway let's have a look at this insert cutting sideways this is where the tool has been reset but is now actually cutting too large a part as you'll see from when it goes round the ball there's a big nib left on the center which shouldn't be there but i must admit i'm fairly impressed with see the nib I'm fairly impressed with how the thing cuts sideways. Making a groove there so the tool can go into the part free of cutting material for the stock removal cycle. But I think I'll have to have a look and see whether it will actually do that. Cause it's only feeding I think there. So if it's only feeding it may actually be able to do that without those grooves. It would be interesting to find out. Yes, that, that part is about a millimetre too big in diameter. Okay, this is what the final part with the 1.2 shift looks like. Doesn't look too bad, but it's just pointier than it ought to be. Alright, more to come in following videos. Thank you for watching.